Uh, Otis, you know, has strengthened at really an unprecedented rate. Um, and seeing how quickly it strengthened, it's, you know, something that we expect in a warmer climate. And, but I think sometimes expecting that is different than actually seeing it happen. Um, however, that said, it does line up really well with some of the findings from my recent research that actually is just published last week showing that we expect hurricanes to go from relatively weak storms to really strong storms more quickly than they used to. Those warm ocean waters really serve as an important source of fuel for hurricanes. Um, they allow the hurricanes to become more energized and to strengthen really quickly. It's a key component. Um, so having seen, you know, that over recent decades, about 90% of the warming that's been caused by human-caused climate change has gone into our oceans. We've seen those ocean surface temperatures getting warmer. Certainly that was the case for Otis. So the water temperature in the Pacific Ocean off the west coast of Mexico right now is much higher than usual for the time of year. Uh, and this provided a lot of extra uh, potential intensity to the storm, which is what part of what allowed it to intensify so rapidly. And those temperatures right now in the ocean are warmer uh, than usual due to essentially two major factors. Uh, El Nino, which is a temporary warming of the eastern Pacific Ocean, and climate change, which of course is the long-term warming of the overall Earth's climate system, and which also results in warmer ocean temperatures. We are very much already seeing the impacts of a warmer climate um, in how destructive these storms are, how quickly they become that destructive, and I think that that tells us a couple of things. One, that we need to be working to think about how we can make our coastal our coastal communities more resilient, because we're clearly already seeing the impacts of climate change playing out today. Um, I think the other thing that we need to be thinking about is how do we limit additional warming to make sure that this isn't a trend that continues to get worse.